Okay, dear students, let us do one question which is based on uh, construction. So it says uh, draw a line segment AB is equal to 6 centimeter and uh, we need to find a point Q on it such that it's given that AQ is 2 upon 5 of QB. Very interesting. So in this uh, question, we would be using our knowledge of dividing a line segment into given number of equal parts. Right. So let us start the question. So read it first. Draw a line segment AB. So this uh, length is important. That is AB is 6 cm. We need to find a point Q. So make sure that you label that point as Q. And uh, it's given that AQ is 2 by 5 of QB. So let us first understand this. AQ is 2 by 5 QB. So this means AQ upon QB is 2 by 5. So can we say AQ is to QB is 2 is to 5. So from here we are able to find the ratio in which the point Q will divide AB internally. So here it is 2 is to 5. So we have to locate the point Q on AB such that AQ is to QB is 2 is to 5. Right. So let us start this construction. So what, what is step 1? Step 1 is very simple. You need to draw the line first. The line segment is AB is equal to 6 cm. So we are going to draw this AB. So these are the two end points A and B and length of AB is 6 cm. Step 2. Yes, step 2 is at point A we will be drawing a ray AX such that angle XAB is an acute angle. Acute angle meaning less than 90 degrees. Okay. Now, after that, we need to construct. So, I am using the word construct at B, a ray BY such that Angle ABY is equal to angle BAX. Right. So let me write down the steps side by side. So what is step 1? Draw AB is equal to 6 cm. What is step 2? Step 2 is at A. What we have done? Draw AX. This is a ray. Such that. Angle XAB is acute. So angle XAB is an acute angle. This is step 2. So I hope you are clear with step 1 and step 2. Now let us see what is step 3. Consider that angle ABY is equal to angle BAX. Let us try to do this. You know how to do this. We have learned this in our previous question. So, how do we do this? Yes. You fix up a radius first. With A as center, draw an arc. And this arc intersects AX at point P. This we are assuming. Now, we will not take the point Q because Q already is mentioned here. So, we will be choosing this point as say T. Now, with B as center and same radius, we will be drawing an arc and this intersects AB at point R. Now, measure what is this PT? P to T, you know how to measure this. And then with R as center, draw the arc intersecting the previous drawn arc. And let's, let this point of intersection be S. And then join B to S 
and extend it so that you get a ray by. Now you see that here angle XAB is equal to angle ABY and this is making a pair of alternate interior angles which is equal. So AX will be parallel to BY. Now observe the ratio. AQ is to QB is 2 is to 5. So 2 plus 5 is 7. So what we are going to do is you can fix up any radius and mark arcs on AX. You have to mark 7 arcs on AX at equal distance. And then you can name these points starting from A. Uh, this is A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. And then you see it needs to be marked here. This is A7. You can extend this line if required like I need it. So I have extended it. Right? Similarly, start from B with same radius draw arcs at equal distance so you need to mark seven arcs one two this is three four five then six again we need to extend it Right, and then from B, you can mark these as B1, B2, B3, B4, this is B5, B6, and this is B7. Okay, now what we are supposed to do, you see this ratio 2 is to 5. From A, locate the second point. That means at a distance of 2 units. This is 1, this is 2. So this is A2. Put a dot and from B you look at the fifth point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is B5. And then if you join these two points A2 and B5 you will see that this segment A to B5 intersects AB at some point. And this point is the required point which is Q. You can mark this as Q. And here AQ is to QB will be 2 is to 5. I am repeating this how we have marked. Observe the ratio. It is 2 is to 5. From A you take 2 units. And from B you take 5 units. So you will see that here if you draw A to B5. So this point Q will divide AB in the ratio 2 is to 5. You can, you know, just uh, check this. These are again making these parallel lines. You can join the extreme points A to B7. And then uh, this is A7 to B. And you will see that these are all parallel lines. Right? So let us write down the steps. So step 3 we, we have written at B construct AY such that angle ABY is equal to angle BAX. What is step 4? Yes, from A we have to mark arcs on AX of equal radius of equal radii such that what points we have taken? A A1 is equal to A1 A2 is equal to A2 A3. How many arcs we have marked? From A mark, you, you can mention it here. 7 arcs. A1 A, A2 is equal to A2 A3 is equal to A3 A4 which is equal to A4 A5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then A5 A6 and finally A6 A7. Right? Similarly, you can write down step 5. What will be step 5? Step 5 is from B. From B, mark 7 arcs 
at equal distance so basically you are using the same radii of same radii as you have chosen in the previous step such that b b1 is equal to b1 b2 is equal to b2 b3 is equal to b3 b4 is equal to b4 b5 and this is equal to b5 b6 which is equal to b6 b7 let me highlight this okay after that you have joined a2 and b5 so this is step number six join a to b5 and locate the point q so write down the result so what will be the result so the result will be a q is to q b is 2 is to 5 so Q is a point on AB such that AQ is to QB is 2 is to 5. I hope it is clear to you. So do this construction, do, do it neatly, right? So this is step 6.